Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Here you see my manufactured PCB. This was uh, designed in KiCad 7 and um, the PCB itself was produced by my channel sponsor PCBWay and um, when I got the PCBs they were assembled and tested and I will show you how this was made. Um, here in the center we see the ESP32 that are the main processor here. We have a switch we have an RGB LED, we have a temperature and humidity sensor, we have a quick connector with I2C, we have a USB interface that I used to program the ESP32 via this USB to serial converter, we have a power relay and a screw terminal for the power relay, some auxiliary pins, and over here we have a driver for LED strips, and uh, the power inlet here is going through a fuse before it's fed to these uh, pin headers or the screw terminals and you can see the labels out here as well. So this was um, assembled quite quick and there are some standoffs here just to lift the board above the table. I made a few test programs in the um, Arduino and uh, I think I will show you the functionality of the board. So let's uh, hook up the board and start uh, our compiler. So you see here uh, an LED will light up showing that we have power to the board and uh, we're ready to go and uh, I think you could also hear the tune when we connected the USB cable. So I made a small test program here. This will just uh, flip with the LEDs, RGB LEDs and uh, the relay when we press the switch. And up here you see some defines. Uh, this is all the pins uh, in the we are using on the ESP32. They have been defined here. And of course, all these code examples, you can find them in the GitHub repository and there are links down below in the description. Let's try and select the right COM port. Yeah, COM15. And uh, let's download the code and see if we can get something running. And now it has downloaded the program. You see the three different colors lights up. And if we press the button here, you can hear the relay is activated. And you can see it also turns on the red LED. So the first small test program is running. Let's try and uh, see if we can detect what's on the I2C bus. Right now we have a humidity and temperature sensor, this SI7021. And let's find the test program for that. Well, the first thing we should do is to actually check what we have connected on the bus. So we have this scanner tool that will scan for all devices on the bus. And uh, one detail is that um, SDA and SCL are on GPI 22 and 23, and uh, we have to define that. Else this is just a standard program that you can uh, find in the sketchbook. So let's try and scan for devices on the I2C port. And it's also using COM15, so perfect. And now we see that it finds the, the humidity and temperature sensor on address hex 40. So the I2C interface is also running. And now we can have a look on the a humidity and temperature sensor. There's a small test program for that as well. So this is this one. And um, here in the top, you can also see the address that's uh, also hex 40. 
So let's try and read out uh, the data from the sensor and see how they behave. It just takes a little time to compile the software and uh, download it via the COM port. And we should be able to see the result here in the monitor, serial monitor that is connected using 115, 200 bow. And we already see the first results are coming in. So it says that there are 28.84 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 35%. And if I just place my finger on top of the sensor itself, then we should see increased values. And we are doing a measurement each five seconds, I think it is. And we can see the humidity already gone up and the temperature is also going up. So we know that the, the sensor itself is uh, also functional. So another test program uh, I would like to show you is a um, extra device that we can put on the uh, the quick connector or the I2C port and that's an OLED display. And uh, we have the test program for that here. So I'm just writing out uh, some few texts and uh, let's see if that's running as well. like that and of course I need to connect the display and I can do that while it's compiling and here we have the display and I can see that the software is being downloaded download right now and here you see the text So this is also very cool and easy to get up and running. And you see here on the um, back side, I have connected another sensor. This is a range sensor. And uh, this is connected uh, via also I2C here. And uh, on the range sensor, there's a groove connector. So I just used these pogo pins to connect to the bus. So let's try and see if we can measure some ranges. And I'll just find this test software for that. And this is this one. And uh, the program is made so that it will, if the range is above 100 millimeters, it will show it uh, on the LEDs. It will change the color on the RGB LEDs. Come 15. Again, it just takes a few seconds to compile the sketch. And right now we can download the code. It's connecting. Yeah. And now we see the range here up to my hand, 123 or 30 millimeters. And if we go below, then we have the LED, the red LED turning on. And if we go like that, so this is very cool. So the last thing that I would like to show you is the RGB driver or the driver for the RGB LED strips. So I can connect a small display or a small matrix display that I have over here. I'll just connect the, the wires here. So we have a ground pin here. Connect that to ground. Then we have a signal pin and that will go to GPIO 16. Like that. And then we have the 5 volt, 
two connectors for firewall here. Like that. And then we have the power source. I have a power source here. So we have ground. I can just show you here uh, if we can see the labels. So you can maybe see it's a little bit hard to focus here. You can see there's VN and ground on the second one. So on the second one we need to have ground. And this is the one with the stripe on here. And then five volts the plus like that and then we can maybe move it like this all right now we have the display in place and then i can just hook up the power like that and let's try to download download a small sketch and I have a program here for that and this will just we can just start by sending blue and black it will just blink with the blue color each 250 milliseconds Come 15 and let's try and download the code and I'm using a library called fast let for this and now we see that the complete display all the LEDs are functional and uh, the blinking blue let's try and take the red color and see how that behaves. Like that. And the code is being downloaded. Cool. And uh, yeah, this shows the functionality of the the driver interface for RGB addressable LEDs. The last thing I would like to show is a program called uh, VLED and I uh, can just show you how that works. So we need to close Arduino first, close all windows. And you just go to this uh, web page called install.vlet.me and then you see this screen and let's try and install. And uh, here we see the CP21 USB to UART bridge controller. And uh, let's try and make connection to that. And uh, we can install VLED and install. So this is a very cool program uh, where you can make all kinds of things for uh, addressable LEDs. And um, yeah, let's try and install it. I will just uh, fast forward this. This will take uh, a few minutes. All right, the software has been installed. And uh, now we need to configure the Wi-Fi interface on the ESP32. And I'll just select the net. And connect. All right, and we can go on the web page for the device. And the first thing we want to do is to configure the LEDs. So the length 
is 64 LEDs and uh, we have WS211X, 28 1 x I think that's good for now. And we can say the 2D configuration, that's a 2D matrix and it automatically says that it's eight by eight. Save. And then we can go back and say brightness, we want to move that down a bit. Like that. And we can just make a solid color and we can change colors here. And we can select all kinds of different modes. There are a lot of different things that you can do in this program. So I would just show you, you know, what, what can you do and uh, how fast is it actually getting this board up and running with some functionality. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video and um, I will see you in the next one where I have more projects uh, with this board and uh, other things. Take care out there. Bye.